Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, green shaded uh, quarter circle with the center D and the green shaded uh, semicircle with the center P fully inscribed uh, in a blue rectangle uh, A, B, C, D as you can see in this given diagram such that the area of this uh, blue rectangle has been given to us as square root of 512 square units and now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region this uh, area and this uh, area combined please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale Let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, semi-circle. I'm going to label uh, its uh, radius uh, BP as uh, lowercase r. Then this uh, other radius uh, PC is going to be lowercase r as well. And now we are going to focus uh, on this uh, green shaded quarter circle as well. And I'm going to label uh, its radius uh, AD as uh, uppercase r then this radius uh, is going to be uppercase uh, r as well and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, side length of this blue rectangle equal to this uh, side length we know this uh, bc side length is going to be lowercase r plus lowercase r is going to give us uh, two times lowercase r so therefore we conclude that this uh, uppercase r is going to be equal to 2 times uh, lowercase r so therefore uh, I can write uh, uppercase r is going to be equal to 2 times uh, lowercase r and now in this uh, next step I am going to connect uh, this center d with this uh, center p as you can see in this uh, next step and now let's recall this uh, crucial fact the centers uh, and the point of uh, tangency are uh, collinear so no wonder the centers D, the center P and this point of tangency lie on the very same line. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, is the radius of this uh, quarter circle. So this has got to be our uppercase R. And likewise, uh, this uh, is going to be the radius of this uh, semicircle. So this is going to be our lowercase R. And now we know that uppercase R equals to 2 times lowercase R. So I'm going to replace this uppercase R with the 2 times lowercase R over here. So therefore uh, this whole uh, side uh, PD length is going to be lowercase R plus 2 times lowercase R is going to give us uh, 3 times uh, R. And furthermore I am going to label uh, this side uh, CD of this blue rectangle as uh, x and just bear in mind that this angle has got to be 90 degrees since we are dealing with this uh, blue rectangle and now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle PCD and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case uh, our hypotenuse is three times lowercase r whereas our two other legs are uh, lowercase r and uh, x let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula so we got uh, x square plus uh, r square is going to be equal to 3 times uh, r whole square let's simplify we can write uh, x square plus uh, r square is going to be equal to 9 times uh, r square and now I'm going to move this uh, r square on the other side so therefore uh, x square is going to be equal to 9 times uh, r square minus uh, r square so therefore x square is going to be equal to 8 uh, times uh, r square and now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides and if I take care of this thing this square and square root is gone so therefore if we simplify everything the right hand side that is going to give us uh, x equals to 2 times r 
times uh, square root of 2. So thus our this uh, x value turns out to be 2 times uh, lowercase r times uh, square root of 2. In other words, uh, this side length uh, CD of this blue rectangle is going to be 2 times r times square root of 2. And now let's focus on this uh, blue rectangle uh, ABCD. We know the blue rectangle area has been given to us as uh, square root of 512. And now let's recall the area of rectangle formula. Area is always equal to length uh, times the width of the rectangle. And in our case, uh, our dimensions are uh, 2 times lowercase r. And the other one is uh, 2 times lowercase r times uh, square root of 2. So therefore, I'm going to fill in the blanks on the left hand side. The blue rectangle area is going to be 2 times lowercase r times uh, 2 times lowercase r times uh, square root of 2 equals to square root of uh, 512. And now if we multiply the left hand side, that is going to give us uh, 4 times uh, r square times uh, square root of 2 is going to be equal to and now let's focus on this uh, right hand side and here i have copied down square root of 512 and we can break down 512 uh, as uh, square root of uh, 256 uh, times uh, 2 and that could be broken down to square root of uh, 256 times uh, square root of 2 and now we can see the square root of 256 is simply 16 so therefore this whole thing has simplified to 16 times square root of 2 so therefore this right hand side square root of 512 is going to be equal to 16 times square root of 2 so therefore i can write down 16 times square root of 2 and in this uh, next step, I'm going to divide both sides uh, by 4 times square root of 2 and this side uh, by 4 times square root of 2 as well. And here we can see the square root of 2 and this square root of 2 is gone. 4 is gone as well. So therefore, r square is going to be equal to this is gone. So we ended up with equal to 4. And now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore, uh, our radius uh, lowercase r value turns out to be 2 units. So thus our uh, lowercase r value turns out to be 2. And we know our uppercase r is uh, 2 times uh, lowercase r. So therefore, our uppercase r value is going to be 4. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, green shaded region area is going to be equal to the area of the quarter circle plus the area of the green uh, semicircle as well. So therefore, now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded quarter circle and the area of this uh, green shaded semicircle as well. And now we are going to calculate the area of this green shaded quarter circle. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula, area equals to pi r square, where uppercase r is the radius. So therefore, uh, the area of this quarter circle is going to be pi times uh, uppercase uh, r square, and we are going to divide it by 4. And we know our uppercase r value is 4, so I'm going to substitute that value 4 over here. So therefore, we can write uh, pi divided by 4 times uh, 4 square. So that is going to give us uh, 16 pi divided by 4 and that is going to be equal to 4 times pi. So thus the area of this uh, green shaded quarter circle turns out to be 4 times pi. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded semicircle as well. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula once again, area equals to pi r square, where lowercase r is the radius. So therefore, uh, this green shaded semicircle area is going to be pi times uh, lowercase r square, and I'm going to divide this one by 2. And our lowercase r value is 2, so I'm going to substitute that value 
2 over here. So therefore we can write down uh, pi divided by 2 times uh, 2 whole square. So that is going to give us uh, 4 times uh, pi divided by 2. If we simplify that is going to give us uh, 2 times uh, pi. So the area of this uh, green shaded semicircle turns out to be 2 times pi. And here's our final step. Now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region. And we already figured out our quarter circle area over here. And the area of the semicircle over here as well. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So our quarter circle area is 4 times uh, pi plus uh, the semicircle area is 2 times uh, pi. If we add them, that is going to give us 6 times uh, pi square uh, units, uh, the area of this green shaded region. So thus the area of this uh, green shaded region turns out to be 6 times pi square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.